Eccentric exercises were the most common and consistently effective treatment for tendinopathy across systematic reviews. When treating tendinopathy, regardless of location, eccentric exercises were the best treatment option to improve tendinopathy-related pain and improve self-reported function. Hi everyone, I'm Colleen from Therapy Spark. Let's talk about continuous passive motion, or CPM. So we all know how traditional CPM works. It's great for improving range of motion for a variety of patients. With BTE, you can also add a target force to your CPM exercises. That means you're also improving neuromuscular control, strength through range, stability, and overall endurance. You accomplish this by assigning a visual target range that the client tracks and responds to in real time. While exercising, the client will either assist or resist the movement in order to meet the goal on screen. Just like with any exercise, you can set the target force on an individual basis. Most people use a percentage of isometric, limb weight, or the known task requirement. You can perform the exercise as concentric only, eccentric only, or both. Let's get started. CPM with target force can be really beneficial for ortho and neuro patients or people who are arthritic or frail. Today we're going to do CPM with target force for the shoulder and elbow. You can also do it for the upper and lower extremities. So before we start exercising, we're going to define the target force after proper dosing. And we'll set the speed and the client's current range of motion. Now we're ready to start CPM with target force. The Primus will provide assisted movement through the defined range of motion. The system does not actually exert force on the client, but it measures the force that the client generates through the assigned range of motion and their ability to stay inside the target force range. The target force indicator is here on the screen so the client can maintain their force within the target zone. The green line shows when the client is pushing in the same direction as the Primus. The red line shows when they're pushing against the direction of movement. The client is doing this exercise while tracking and responding to the target force on the screen. This interaction encourages their neuromuscular control and proprioception and builds their strength, stability, and endurance through range. It also helps boost their confidence in their progress and increases their engagement with your rehab program. The client gets real-time feedback on their target force output, range of motion, and their average force. As the client gains strength, you can further challenge them by changing the general parameters, adjusting the position and angles, or even changing tools and attachments. For example, you can substitute the straight handle with the foam pad for clients who have difficulty maintaining grip. What you get is a series of exercises that activate the muscular skeletal system in different ways and simulate real life activities. Your clients will appreciate doing a wide variety of exercises that produce positive outcomes. The Primus will track the client's performance for individual sessions and for multiple sessions. So you'll get easy to read progress reports that show the average force and how they performed in the target range for each exercise. Today we've shown you CPM with target force on the shoulder and elbow, but you can also use it with small joints like the wrist, and on the lower extremities. I hope you found this useful for your practice. CPM with Target Force is a great way to provide safe, early intervention for your patients with engaging activities. Next time, we'll continue our upper extremity rehab with the Primus RS. If you have a condition or technique you want us to talk about, drop us a comment below. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to get alerted about our next video on the latest rehab techniques.